All right, guys. Um, let's come back with the training thing again. Um, I'm trying to give you the knowledge in a way you guys are interested. Um, so I do not. I did not continue with the with the sales system. Uh, I'm trying to mix things up a little bit because uh, I'm trying to get you most knowledge. Just, they will be talking about microwaves, right? And we're going to do the same thing and have a problem in hand and solve it. Okay, just like we did with the seal system where uh, we are trying to spray liquid um, Freon into the evaporator. Okay, we're gonna have a problem and we want, want to, to solve it just like the engineers would think, right? So, our problem is that we have cold food we're trying to heat up very quickly. What they've come up with is that the food, they have water molecules in them. And if they can find a way to rub them very fast, which is with each other, you know, friction creates heat. And that's how we're going to heat up the food. Now, how are they going to rub, make those molecules rub with each other? Is going to be by a magnetron. So the first thing that you know, we need, we need a magnetron. Okay. And then somewhere here we have the connections. Now the next problem is we need to power this magnetron to run it, you know, to make it make the work. It's not just gonna do it. We need to power it, right? So the problem with a magnetron, it uses a lot of power. Okay, so, but we cannot ask the customers to have high power going to a simple microwave. So the next um, solution that they have come up with is that take the regular 120 that comes into the microwave and up this voltage, make this voltage higher so it can support that magnetron that's asking for a very high voltage. Okay, so now let's up the magnet. Uh, let's now. What we have to do is to put um, a transformer in there. Okay, the transformer is going to solve that problem while ups the voltage. Okay, so now we're going to connect that transformer to the magnetron, but. The way electricity works, especially uh, with um, alternating current works, it has a wave. It comes up and it goes down. It comes up and it goes down like that. Okay? That's the peak where you get your 120 volt. And, and that's the peak again where you get the 120 volt. Right here at the middle of the wave, you have about zero volt. So basically you're coming from 120 going down to 120, okay? And going back up to 120. You can see at some point you are losing. You're losing, okay? So the magnetron doesn't like that losing thing, okay? That's one. And second, it uses a lot of current, you know? So, by doing that, it would overpower the breaker, you know, and that wouldn't work. So they have killed two birds at once. They added a capacitor in there. What the capacitor is, okay, they call it like a reservoir, right? Where you would put water into it, okay? It would go up, up, up. When you cut the water, it continues flowing okay and then when you put the water back up 
at this end right here, it's like we never cut the water because it continues flowing. So that's the same thing that happens here. You know, when it goes to zero, the capacitor keeps on pushing electricity out and then it goes back down to 120, you know, uh, 120. So at this end, which is the magnetron, it doesn't really feel that. That's one, and then it does a second thing. It cuts the amperage, okay? So we really need the capacitor in there. So we're gonna add a capacitor, okay? We put the capacitor in there. Um, I'm going to take the wire out like that. I didn't have to do it, but this is how you guys used to see the capacitor. So uh, I, I put it like that, okay? So that goes in there. There's also another guy in play, um, which is the diode. The diode is a one gate um, tool, which allows electricity to flow in one direction, okay? So if electricity is coming this way, like you have the arrow, it would let it pass through. But if it's coming back that way, it would not let it through, okay? Generally, they just put the diode with the body of the machine, okay? Um, my concept was is that the diode helps discharging the capacitor to make it safe. But over the years, I have noticed that if the diode itself is bad, it disrupt the proper flow of electricity and then it's gonna make the magnetron not work either the magnetron can make a really weird noise and air and give a whole lot of problems so diodes are very important for the health of the system okay so now we have the magnetron as long as we have the system set up this way okay this is our microwave that's it that's the microwave. If I put power here, this microwave comes on and I have food inside of the microwave. Okay, that food is going to heat up. Okay, so now I cannot have a microwave that's running 24-7. I need a way to cut power to it, right? So, that is my neutral wire different engineers are going to design the rest of the system differently all the microwave that i've seen that's how it is designed okay uh i have ran into situation where that um uh, that transformer they took that out and then they put an inverter board in there that inverter board is very fragile. I've noticed that it goes bad very, um, very often. Okay, uh, but some sometimes they do that. They put the inverter board in there. Uh, I'll talk about it in a minute. Um, so now we need to put power into the transformer. But once you put power into the transformer, it's a it's direct. So we automatically putting power into the magnetron and food is heating up. Okay, so now. We cannot run the transform the, the microwave 24-7, so we need some type of control. Okay? So first, some guys, the neutral wire, let me make neutral purple. The neutral wire, you can see that they they run it directly to neutral at the house. Or some other people can pass the neutral through the door switch okay now it's depend on the how the engineer built the rest of the system but all of the system that i've seen this is what uh, you know this is what it is so now when i go to a machine now i don't do this anymore because i can listen to different type of noises and i know what's going on just by the noise when the noise comes and all that but I would use to put my meter right here. If I have 120 here, the rest of my system, I ignore it because it's good. 
now I have to work on here to see which one is bad. But if I don't have 120 here, then I ignore the system. I work on the rest of the system to see why I don't have 120 at the um, at the microphone, right? Not the microphone, the transformer. Uh, I never put my meter here because after the transformer is very high voltage and it can burn out the meter. So um, I don't think this is something that we really want. Let's keep pushing. Um, now, coming from here, some guys bring it directly to neutral. Not a big deal. Some other, uh, that's the neutral line. The hot line, they would pass it through the computer board, okay? Okay, they would pass it through the computer board. That's a relay that's inside of the computer board, okay? And that relay goes through different of safety checks, like the door switch, okay? Like the door switch. Um, couple of door switches, okay? So now, the relay okay has to be activated by something they have a coil in the relay this coil you don't see it it's 12 volt dc so the same power that turns on the display and you see all the time and everything in the microwave that's the same power that powers that little relay that is very uh the 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 coil that's inside of that relay okay so now and that relay is located inside of the computer board okay so the computer board sometimes is got the display in it okay so you can see what you're doing, how many minutes that you put it into. That's the display, okay? Sometimes it's independent from it, okay? And then, usually there's a ribbon, and then that gets connected to the touch panel where you press in your stuff, okay? So, if I go okay Th those are the buttons okay buttons 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 the word and more buttons okay if i go and i press this button and i don't hear anything on the computer board generally the computer board itself is got a little I would say a beeper. It's not a speaker because you can't hear music from it. It's just a beeper that goes beep, beep, right? Every time it gets a voltage, you get beep, right? If I press the button and I don't hear the beep, I can tell that somehow my command was not transferred to the microwave, to, to the computer board. Okay, so I know that I have nothing to do with the computer board. I have to replace the display. The problem with displays, very often they are not even available to purchase, unfortunately. But at least we know what's going on with it. We don't make, do uh, the wrong diagnostic. Okay, so if I press it, I hear the beep. But nothing happens once I hear the beep. I know it's registered within the computer board, okay? So now, maybe the relay is bad. And then, this is activated, but physically, inside of the relay, the things are not connected to turn on the microwave. Maybe the problem is not even there. It's in the door switch. Maybe it's somewhere else. But at least I know that, you know, um, the thing is registered. And then I could see it in the screen too. Okay? But 
if you press it and nothing happens, then it's the then it's the fad. Now, the relay goes bad very often, okay? So we don't. Uh, I sometimes take the board to the office and then take out the old relay, put in a new relay, and boom, everything is working like a baby, right? But not. Uh, but most of the time, we just replace the board and call it the day. Okay. So that's for that relay. Moving forward. Um, and then the micro. Now there are other functions in the microwave. Let's go run into them. When the wave comes, okay, and the food is here like that, what's going to happen is one side of the food is going to be hot and the other side of the food is cold. Now that they have a second problem that they have to fix, okay, is that they put a, a tray under it and the tray is connected to, the, to a small motor under it. So now when you turn on the microwave, okay, this one is acted up on a low voltage, okay? Different manufacturers build it differently. Some guys put other small relays in there because this is just a 20, this is just a 120 volt. That relay can go directly to the board or to the um, tray, you know, and turn it on. Or what they can do okay they can take the voltage from here since the this this motor only turns on when the magnetron is pushing so they can wire it uh, with the power 120 going into the transformer okay the transformer is not working it's not working the transformer is working it's working boom okay or other people can take it from a relay and depend it and go there same thing and they can take it in other places too okay don't go crazy about it right and also generally you have a light in the microwave when you turn when you open the door the light comes on so you have another door switch that is related to the light okay um uh, that door, this can go into neutral. Uh, no, 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 into power. Okay, this can go into power. Okay, and then you have another door switch. Okay, that can come from the the same power uh, has the relay. Okay. Now, if the door is open the light comes on the door is closed the light goes out okay those are the micro switch okay um now we have other problems we have to solve sometimes the people they, there's a fan motor in the microwave that is, that pulls up grease and everything from under the microwave you know where you're cooking and he throws it outside right most microwaves have that so that 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 motor is very easy we generally don't have any problem with it okay it's just a motor in the back of the microwave and then this is a regular 120 uh it gets connected to one of the small relays and boom uh, problem solved we don't have a problem with that okay um, generally this 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 has a small capacitor to turn on the motor not a problem moving forward um, the microtron itself it gets hot so they need to cool it off as it's running you know the thing is using high power so again they can take it from the same place or they can send the voltage to the fan motor okay we're just gonna use green for that one from the fan motor straight from the from the relay board okay those are the things that the microwave you know the microwave had it's not that complicated you know um 
you you know you have a light uh, let's, let's, let's put that uh, connect that light okay because that would have been a short circuit without the light and it would, no one wants a short circuit okay and okay so you open the door this close the light comes on and also it gets related to the um okay it gets related to the um relay where uh, there is a second switch also um that switch is related to it when you open the door it turns off the power that goes in there okay um the fan goes out on uh, the motor that spins the food goes out you know until you close the door and you restart it um if you guys have any question uh, i would love to have questions because generally um i send the videos out and I, I get no feedback i feel like i'm just putting out funny videos um please um understand it give me questions um that way i feel like uh you know we're absorbing i want everybody to absorb what's going on okay um if you do, if i don't have any question from anybody i can tell two things either they don't understand the subject at all you know and they don't want to ask every question you know because that's how i used to do when i was in school and i don't understand anything i just let it be um that's one or you know just don't really care and that would hurt a bit um just let me know